Morning rays, morning rays with Celia Ray. Great morning rays of love um, and welcome into morning rays with me, Celia Ray. I am so excited that you are here with me this morning and that you've decided to join me. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, I would appreciate it if you did that and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss anything coming from me. Today is a midweek release date, so later on there will be singing content coming to you. <laughs> so please stay tuned for that. Um, and please collaborate with me uh, during this morning routine. Uh, through the like and comment features on this video. Uh, if you are new, welcome in. If you are returning, I'm so grateful for you. Welcome in. I'm so grateful for you also if you are new. Um, but it's just a whole lot of gratitude over here. Uh, the word of encouragement this morning, Rays of Love, uh, is to really, really, really have faith in yourself um, and the visions and the gifts that you've been given. Um, it's not by accident or by chance that we've been given the gifts, that we've been given talents, that we've been giving specific resources. It's not by chance and by accident. Everything is intentional. Um, and the giver of, the ultimate giver of these things is really looking to see what we're gonna do. And so the word of encouragement is to not uh, take anything that you have for granted um, and utilize it to your best ability. Utilize your resources to your best ability. And when we do that and we store well and we um, utilize our things well, that's when we really see stuff shift and change. So that's my encouragement. This morning, Rays of Love, I am running around. I just <clears throat> dropped my babies off at school and I have to get gas. Um, and so <laughs> you might see the 7-Eleven logo in the background. 7-Eleven, throw me a sponsorship deal, honey. <laughs> I'll taste test the Slurpees, all the things, let me know. <laughs> um, but this morning, again, a lot of times we, we don't have space right? We're moving, we're grooving, we're, we have activities that we have to do. Um, and it's difficult to take time to self-soothe. And so I'm about to pump gas right now. Um, and during my pumping gas, uh, I'm going to be, it's very cold outside, but demonstrating how you can do the body scan that we talked about uh, yesterday for the self-soothing practice while we're doing regular everyday activities. And so again the body scan we just did a lower body scan um yesterday and we're going to move up and do our abdomen and our like upper half of our body um and so i will be pausing the video really quickly uh, so that i can show you that but a body scan is meant to uh reconnect our mental and emotional bodies with our physical bodies a lot of time these things are disjointed and they're not connected anymore um, but our bodies are very very wise and they remember things long after our minds forget them um, and so body scans are a great way to tap back into what we're feeling tension sensations that we're feeling in our bodies that really inform um, how we're doing mentally and emotionally so give me one second i'll be right back <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm back. Um, and so it's, again, super easy to not take time for ourselves. Um, and we're often in chaotic environments, like at the gas station, pumping gas, right? And so start out by doing some community breaths. So inhale, one, two, three, and then exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale again. One, two, three. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. You're going to continue to deeply breathe. And then as you deeply breathe, you're just going to notice any sensations that you feel in your abdomen. Um, any tension in your stomach, maybe any nerves, not sure what you have going on today. Um, notice any sensations, any tension in your stomach. I want you to breathe through that tension. So you're still deeply breathing, inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling two, three, four, five, six. Move 
move up into your chest cavity. Feel any sensation, any tension that you are feeling. Um, it is cold outside, so if you are breathing, um, it may feel sharp to inhale. Feel any sensation that you're feeling in your chest cavity. So inhale, one, two, three, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Move on to your outer extremities of your arms. Feel any sensation or tension in your arms. And then go ahead and breathe it out. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Right, you're pumping gas. You might feel some sensations in your hand. It's cold outside, so I'm feeling that. My limbs don't feel as loose um, and fluid as they normally do. Um, but no any tension or any sensations you're feeling. Move up into your shoulders. Notice any, ten any tension, any sensations in your shoulders. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Move up to your neck and do the same thing. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Move up to your head. Feel any sensations in your face, um, in your temples, in the back of your head, at the crown of your head. Notice any sensations and breathe it out. One, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. So note any sensations that you felt more strongly um, in any parts of your body as we did that. And I want you to take some final breaths. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Again, inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. All right, y'all, I'm also done pumping gas. And so that was about five minutes. Um, go ahead and just take five minutes for yourself. It doesn't have to be a pause five minutes. You can still be moving as I am moving and grooving. You can still be completing the task that you have to complete for yourself today. You do not have to be in this super calm meditative state. Um, you can be at the gas station as I am right now. Whew. That was a self-soothing practice um, this morning. Um, and the chat really today, y'all, is rooted in this concept of like comparison so yesterday uh, twitter's like my diary but i was just like naming things that like comparison kills within us right or things that um are harmed in our mental and emotional bodies by comparison um and so the question today is really how does comparison impact you or affect you and we have a lot of access to comparison these days, right? Social media is that. <laughs> like, it's a comparison machine. Am I getting more likes than this person? Am I looking like I'm doing as much as this person? Am I living my best life like this person is? Like, social media is full of that. And it's very easy to get sucked into a hole of that. And, right, I feel like I'm a good steward in a lot of aspects <laughs> i feel like i do i do pretty okay right and i'm not even boasting 
in myself a little bit i was just a little bit but to shift the focus off of me i feel like god has given me a lot of responsibility and i'm learning how to serve well that's not boastful that's the truth and so in giving that i be wanting things to just be so much easier things that i desire things that i want i be wanting god to be like okay instantaneous and god can do that but a lot of times that's not how it happens and then when it's a hard day like yesterday was a very hard day for me um some family things serving my sister and like it was just tough and i'm like like lord like i'm faithful in everything like i take on this extra responsibility all the time um and i know so and so don't have to do this but they have this or i know so like i just start running it like like why does my life have to be this hard god like why da, 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 right and then i just had to really take a, a pause and reflect on like whoever said that it would be any different i'm the only solia ray right i'm the only the only one in my particular context i am the only one i am uniquely myself i'm intentionally created woven just as you are and no one's ever lived this life before you know i'm not um a practitioner of reincarnation or anything like that uh so i don't believe that any there's any other me <laughs> and so that being said like who am i to dictate on what or sh what should or should not be happening in my life um and i do that like type of dictation all the time based on how i see things operating around me how i see other people's life and how i see other people engage in this world how i've seen historically family members engage or operate in this world and different stuff like that that have done similar things as me or that desire to do similar things as me i just have been looking around too often and so comparison yesterday just really had me out here down bad looking crazy and i am wondering what comparison does for y'all um i would really love to know the answer to that for me it's something that i cannot consistently do or i'm gonna be like wallowing in my own pity in my own situational context and not be able to get anything done um and i don't desire that for myself and i believe that we are dynamic and we can change um and so that being stated wallowing in comparison is not indicative of that change and that dynamic uh, ability and characteristic of us as people and so that's really just a chat uh, put them put them comparison blockers on like put the put the blockers on so you ain't looking around honey you don't got to put the comparison blocker on thank y'all so much um uh, for joining me this morning i know that towards the end i got a little hype <laughs> uh but i hope that you will engage in a conversation about comparison um and I also hope that you will tune in later on today for the minute release. See y'all in the morning.